then I'm down here because I've got the camera set up for my whole kind of style videos but today is like a festival lookbook try on thing basically I'm off to EDC soon and then I'm also off to Electric Zoo which is in New York I'm going to Vegas BDC New York for Electric Zoo. I think that, oh, ooh, there's so much to remember right now and I've got a terrible memory. Anyway, I'm trying to sort out outfits well in advance because usually I'm a very last minute person. I end up wearing just shorts and a friggin' crop top every year, every festival I go to because I just like bitch out basically. I've always wanted to dress crazy for a festival my entire life. Like I started going to festivals in 2013. I think my first festival was like Our House and then like Stereo Song and stuff like that. Um, I've been to quite a few festivals and every year I always want to dress super crazy and I never do. So this year I'm like, you know what? I'm advanced. I'm going to buy everything early and I'm going to plan outfits. So you guys can kind of help me out and tell me what outfits you like the best. I'm like really not in the center right now, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> I just filmed this makeup tutorial, which if it's up already, I'll link it below. Otherwise it's coming soon. I don't know. I love electric music, house music, trance, dance, whatever. And these festivals, literally you can wear whatever you want. You can go crazy, you can go chill, it does not matter, but every single year I go I see girls dressed in cute little sparkly outfits and matching sets and stuff and I'm always just like, ah! It's like, always want to dress like that, so this year nothing is holding me back. This of course is not going to be everyone's style and I totally accept that and totally understand. So yeah, this is just like some cute outfits that I've chosen and put together and hopefully I can inspire some of you guys and even if you wouldn't wear like the same kind of outfit, maybe you could take like a piece and put it with something else that you'd feel more comfortable in. You guys can tell me which one's your favorite. So yeah, enjoy. Sorry this intro was really long. I just I just felt like explaining myself. Okay, so here is my first little outfit. These shorts here are from Shopo. This top is from Her Pony, and this little belt here is also from Shopo. I've paired this up with what you already saw in my makeup store, if it's already up, I don't know. These earrings, I can't remember if they're from like Glassens or Fawnstar or something like that, but they're just little cross hoops. Um, this is from Fawnstar. This necklace, it's actually two separate necklaces, one with little crosses and then this kind of dangly chain thing. And then I've also paired up this outfit with this drip-in clip, which is by Kitch. Sorry if I did not pronounce that correctly. I've also got like others. I don't know which one I want to wear, but um, we've got Feelings Glam and Dam, which is also very cute. None of my outfits are like set in stone, so if you guys think I should mix and match some of the things, some of the pieces I showed today, feel free to like help me out here. Because yeah, this is just like, I don't know, a big try on for me and you guys. Like I haven't tried on half of this stuff yet. And then I've just got these little silver clips as well that I got from the kids section at Farmers. So this top's so cute. It's just got like big star sequins in it and these little tassels, they make this really cute noise like as I walk around. <laughs> I really, really love this top. This is like one of the more conservative outfits of today, believe me or not, um, because a lot of the outfits I got, the blue, the matching bloomers, which are basically just underwear or bikini bottoms or whatever. Another thing you can totally do is literally wear like bikinis with, and then like layer with them, obviously if that's your cup of tea. Otherwise any of these outfits, to dress them down a bit, which I may still do, I'm not sure yet, like if I get there on the day and I'm feeling a bit bloated or like, I don't know, don't want to show so much skin off, I might just pair up some of these tops with like real high-waisted um, denim shorts kimono you know like cover up a little bit more but it's still fun but yeah I love this this looks real cute as well if I just take off the belt if I want something a little bit more simple do you think belt or no belt I don't know and then the shoes I've paired up with this outfit are my feelers and I've got these little um pink frilly socks I got those off ASOS another accessory that looks real cute are these clear visors this is from Fashion Nova I've also got a clear one which looks like this like just white which would look really good or there's like a pink one as well so me and my friends are probably gonna like share these around and just like experiment with them but these are so cute as well like I wouldn't wear the hair clips with it but that's another cute look and also gives you a little bit of protection like it kind of covers your eyes which is really handy so yes this is outfit number one and I just want to say like obviously I'm not a friggin size zero who gives a shit you're going to a festival it is hot it is sweaty if you want to show some skin show some skin I don't care what size you are if you were teeny tiny or curvy 
just wear whatever makes you feel comfortable whatever is like comfortable is honestly like the most important thing at a festival in my opinion and whatever you feel good and confident in like I actually freaking feel so cute in this outfit like it's so much fun I've always wanted to dress like this and I'm so excited <laughs> oh my god okay I'm gonna have to like do outfit of the day photos while I'm over there so I can show you guys what I actually ended up choosing as well but yeah vote on this outfit. For the next outfit I've simply put on the matching top. This is from Shopo, so Shopo, Shopo, Shopo. And yeah, this is another look. This top's actually a little bit too big for me. I've just done the straps up real tight to counteract that. I probably should have gone for a 10 I think it was. I think this is a 12 and these are a 12. These are definitely a little bit roomy too but I don't want them too tight anyway because I want to be able to be comfortable all day and not like feel restricted or anything. But yeah if you're wondering what kind of sizing. So yeah this is a 12. Like it's okay once I drop the straps. I think a 10 would have just been a little bit more supportive if that makes sense. But anyway it's still fine. Like it still fits okay. So this would be really cute with like a little kimono as well. I've just kept everything else the same. I think I slightly like the um, lilac top from the previous shot a little bit better just because it's a little bit more like shiny and interesting but this is still really cute and this is a lot more affordable than the Her Pony top as well. Also from Shopo, um, I've got like some glitter mix, peel off glitter mix which I may use like putting holographic glitter on my shoulders and stuff could be a really cute idea with this kind of outfit just to make it a little bit more shiny and interesting. And then they also have all of these like gypsy shrine stick on decals which could look real cute cute with this kind of outfit too or even the previous one these have just got like stars all over them look how freaking cute and then also they've got like nipple pasties on their website which could be really cute just to put on as well or if I ended up wearing like a more sheer top if you know what I mean so yeah the only thing with these silver outfits is I don't really have a bag to go with them all of my bags kind of have like gold detailing like I guess I could just chuck on a black one this particular one here is from white fox boutique but if any of you guys know where i can get a silver bum bag from like i would really appreciate that or even just like i don't know one with silver detailing on it so it still matches but so this one would look really cute with the white visor this one just kind of clips around the head like this that's really cute so this next outfit is much more of like a very cute sweet vibe so this skirt is from her pony also the thing with the skirt is it is a sheer skirt I've just got like a nude g-string on right now so I probably would want to find like a silver bikini bottom or something like that to wear underneath a bit I could also use like the silver shorts underneath this so it'll just be a little bit bulkier um but yeah this is really cute headed up for everything the same except I changed my socks to these ones here which say leave me alone these are from fashion nova so they're quite cute this is really really cute as well like I feel like this is one of my favorites I don't know <laughs> this is really hard for me because I'm really happy with like so much of the stuff I got I got this kind of with this outfit in mind but I think the hat's a little bit too pink probably I don't know I don't know what do you guys think like hat no hat or else I do have the more sheer one which probably goes a little bit better but yeah I really like this outfit too I don't know how I'm going to do my hair for the festival either. Usually I end up chucking it up in like a low bun or a ponytail or something because it's just too hot. But I don't know. We'll see on the day. And then the other thing I did pick up. I think this is from Fashion Nova. Um, is this like little vest thing. Oh god how do I even get this on? Which could spice up an outfit as well. Okay that looks like that's where your boob goes. In there somewhere. I don't know if this would be too much. Like I'd probably take off the necklace with this one. Maybe with the silver shorts again. I don't know, what do you guys think? But that's quite cool as well. Um, even with this necklace, like it doesn't look too bad. So there is another kind of little option. That's it for the pink. Oh, actually I have this, but I just don't have anything to put under it. Was this from, I think this was from Fashion Nova. It's just a like iridescent skirt, but I wouldn't really know what to put under it. Like I think it's too form fitting to fit the shorts underneath. Like I feel like you need kind of like a bodysuit or something like that underneath it. I'm not sure, we'll see how we go with in this video, maybe I can find something else to pair with it. Okay, so next up, I don't think I'll end up wearing this one like this. I'll show you what other kind of like stuff I bought to pair with it, but under the top, I could definitely wear these kind of nipple covers. I have normal nipple covers on under it and you can kind of see them. Like, can you see that line? That is a nipple cover. Because of like this white mesh material, it's just a bit like, I don't know, it makes stuff look weird. It looks weird. So I have to use some kind of like pasty that's like interesting so that you can see it, but it doesn't look ugly. <laughs> so this is Her Pony and Her Pony. And then these are from Her Pony also, just some like red fishnets, which I really like the red fishnets, but... I don't know, I just don't really love the style of the bloomer on me. I feel like if they were more of like a high cut like that, that'd be more flattering. But 
it's, I don't know. I just don't think they're that flattering on my body shape. So I'll probably do one of the other options, which I will show you. But this is how they look. And then that's how they look on the bum. Um, so yeah. And then I've paired it with black Converse. But I think the white feelers would also look really cute as well. I feel like the white feelers might win in this video because I did buy boots and stuff. But I feel like the white feelers are so comfy and just go with everything. And then once again, I would need some kind of bum bag to go with this outfit. I don't really have one that would suit this like ideally you'd do like a red one I don't know what do you guys think and I could really use like gold or silver um, accessories with this these little belts are kind of just like a silver color but I feel like gold or silver jewelry would work well I've even got like love heart earrings and stuff which would look really cute obviously with this and then I also picked up these sunglasses off her pony as well you can get similar ones off like eBay and stuff but look how cute I love the sunnies, like no matter what, the sunnies are going with this. Like I want to wear this top in some way. So I'll show you guys my options. I've also got, of course, the white cap, which I could pair up as well, which could be cute if I don't want to do like the accessories, the hair accessories, especially if I end up wearing like gold jewelry. I don't know. I'll show you guys how to make this look more wearable though. Like some of you guys would rock this obviously. I just don't think this bottom is like the most flattering on me. You guys tell me what you think though. Like if you think it's cool, whatever. I did get some cover up kind of pieces. Which is also good for those of you who may not want to show as much skin but still want to like have this kind of style. Like the very like mesh style I guess. So it's very in for like festivals and stuff. So another option is popping on a nice long skirt like this one which gives more coverage so it's not just like hey ass cheeks but it's still like flirty this one is from Shopo. i probably wouldn't wear the fishnets with it what do you guys think yes or no just because there's a bit of a pattern to the actual like skirt itself so that's one way i could do it and then i honestly just can't even wear this outfit without the sunglasses because they're my favorite bit once again i could even put like glitter on i could do like a red lip i don't know give me some tips or I'll show you the other one which I like think is my favorite. This is one other way to add a lot more coverage while still being really flirty. So this is just a sheer maxi from Shopo. I'm obsessed. It also comes in black which I'll show you soon. And you can wear it like done up, done down with like a belt. You could wear whatever. Actually if I went for gold accessories this could look really cute with this outfit. This is from Fashion Nova. Or do I need like a white one or a red one or like help me out here? The only thing is this is a little bit long so I feel like I'll have to hold on to it like this quite often because otherwise I'll step on it um, unless I can like get a belt and just like loop it up like this just to make it a bit shorter. Um, anyway, I've paired it this time with my feelers which I love how that looks and also these socks, I got them from Japan and they say love me. So yeah, that's that option. I'm obsessed with these glasses. I can't stop talking about them, I'm sorry. And then I've got one more way to wear this crop top. Um, I'll show you. Here's the other option, just popping on one of these skirts that I got from White Fox Boutique. I showed you guys a black one in my collective haul recently. This is just the white version. And I could also wear the skirt with the white like brief that it comes with as well. I showed you guys that in that last haul as well. So there's a couple of options. This one's quite cute though because you can see the love hearts poking through even though I don't love the style on me. Like it's still cute. And that's really really comfy as well. Like the skirt doesn't look comfy but it's actually very very comfy. So yeah. It's another option. I definitely love the Love Hearts look though. I think I could have a lot of fun with this one. And then I've just still got on the same socks and the feelers. So yeah, that's another option. Tell me what you think. Next up, let's go into, I don't know. I feel like most of the rest are black or black and snake skin or nude or something. So let's have a play. Okay, so before we move on to like the more gold toned outfits, because I have a few of those. Here's another like silverish one. This necklace is doing my duty right now. This entire outfit just here is from White Force Boutique. This like bodice. It's a bodysuit and then I've got the underwear from the skirt on as well. This is the skirt you saw from my collective haul. So that's really cute also if I wanted to do something a little bit more glam. Maybe a different necklace. I switched my pin to the dam. I don't know what kind of necklace I would pair with this. Something like big. I also have this from Shopo. This is a little belt. I don't know if this is too like clubbing for me for a festival. Like, you know, anything goes really, but... This is more like the clubbing outfit probably. I could always take this to Vegas for like a night out. This belt is so cool. So yeah, this one's here is from Shopo. So that's another little look. But yeah, I think different necklace. What do you guys think? Comment below. And then the boots I've paired up, 
I haven't done them up properly, but these are by Rock Boots. They're just like combat boots to bring it down just a little bit, less um, clubbing-ish, you know? And I'd probably just wear like black socks underneath them. So yeah, there's one black outfit option. And obviously I can mix and match everything as well. Like, I don't have to wear them exactly like this. This top is so cute though, I think I'll take it anyway. Like I said, for any night out, it's so cool. Or even like this top for a festival with like denim shorts would be really cool. I'm like determined to wear this pink hat, but that just looks silly. <laughs> I do have a black leather bucket hat that I got off Fashion Nova. <laughs> I kind of like it, love a good old bucket hat. The only problem is my head gets so sweaty, like all my hair and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Don't know about this one. On to the next. I feel very tall right now. So this is from White Horse Boutique and this is the same underneath from the previous outfit. I just took off the necklace and earrings and just left in at the dam. I feel like, I don't know if this is too dressy once again or not. Like, I'm not sure. Maybe if I just wore like a two piece underneath it wouldn't look so full on. Like, I'm not sure or I could pair it with different shoes. But the shoes I've put on for now are from Shopo. They're these really cool boots. They're like tall but they're flat. Like your foot sits flat so you're not going to get sore free. Sore free. Sore feet from walking in heels. You guys know what I mean. So yeah, this dress is just like super sheer with crisscross designs, very comfortable. And it also comes in like a silver, I think, and like a beige. So yeah, that's what that one looks like. I don't think this is a favorite for EDC either. Like maybe more so just for clubbing and stuff like that. I feel like underneath, like I need a different top, maybe like a higher cut bandeau top underneath or something. Cause I feel like it just, this underneath is making my proportions look a bit funny. Once again, not necessarily a super favorite, but let me know what you guys think. Okay, here's an outfit. I did not think I would like this much, but I actually like quite love it. So this is a lace two piece from Fashion Over This in the pants. And I've also just kept on that same sparkly um, white fox boutique bodysuit underneath for extra coverage because this is like completely see-through. If I wasn't to wear the sparkly play suit, either a plain one, bodysuit I should say, or um, even just like a black bra and underwear, but I quite like the extra coverage. And then these pants are tight and then they flare out at the knee and they're like flares. And I've just kept the same at Shopo boots on and this is a freaking look like I am obsessed. I don't know if the belt as well would be like a bit too glam probably. And I could do like gold or silver accessories, pop on a bum bag, hell yeah. So yeah this bum bag is from Fashion Nova also but I also have these ones which could be real cute. This bronze one is Shopo. Oh yeah, that's cool. Because that's actually got like sequins all over it. Or I also have a snakeskin one from Shopo. That's cute too. I don't know. Which one's your favorite? I really love this outfit. Um, yeah, I don't know. Do you like what's under it? Or do you think I should wear like, I don't know, something plain? I don't know. I just love the way it looks on my body. And it makes my thighs look super curvaceous, which I love. Because I've got like hip dips as well. But I feel like this shape just makes me look really full in my thighs, which is like my ideal. I just love bigger thighs so yeah and it's like real cute on the bum I don't know I think this is so cute you guys what do you guys think yes or no the length is like pretty long on me but once I wear like quite tall boots like it's not too bad let me know what you think we've got a few more black outfits next up same Shopo shoes and then this entire outfit is also Shopo the shorts the top and the little waist belt this is pretty cute this would be really cute with one of those conductor hats is that what they're called I don't actually have one and I'd probably get some gold hair clips I think that would look really really cute so this outfit's got a little bit more coverage you can even wear these shorts with like a tank top like cover all of this area if you're not comfortable showing that much skin even a t-shirt or whatever but I really like this especially with the boots I think this is such a cool outfit very very simple very easy you could chuck heaps of gold glitter all over you. I also have a different body chain from Fashion Nova which I'll show you how this one looks. I think the other one probably looks a little bit better but that's really cute as well. It's just hard to see the um, cross detailing. I don't know, I just feel like jewellery is key for music festivals. Like just sparkle, shine, whatever. These shorts are definitely a little bit too big. I think I got a size 12. I think just go true to size. I'm always scared with shorts because a lot of shorts fit so small, but these ones are pretty true. And I think this top is also a size 12 and I wish I got my actual size. Shopo seems to be a lot more true to size than other boutiques. Because sometimes, yeah, like I struggle to fit into a friggin size 10 top because of my boobs, but this would have been fine. I've actually got quite a lot of space in here, so 
it'd probably be nice a little bit tighter. Even the gold bag with that is quite a cool option for something a little bit more cash. Also even a black kimono. This one here is from Fashion Nova 2. It's quite a, like lacy one. It's quite cool. And then you can even chuck your belt over top of that. Like something like this. I mean, you'd style it a little bit better, but that's also an option if you want a little bit more coverage. You could probably go with more of a plain one, I think, than this real lacy one, because this is quite a lot to look at at once, but quite cool from behind as well. So yeah, that's another outfit. A little bit more casual and less like crazy. Still very booby, still very body, but you know, it's just not as full on as some of those other outfits I've just shown. If you were super, super, super confident, you could also wear this. Um, this is from White Fox Boutique, it's that one from underneath the sheer skirts. So you could wear like the bottoms with the body chain with the top and it kind of all matches it perfectly which is also really cute. It would also look really good with like black fishnet stockings which I do have, I just could not be bothered putting those on right now. But yeah, you get the idea. I probably am not gutsy enough for this, but I love, love, love the way it looks. Like, I think it's so cool, especially if you have, like, those knee-high, like, lace-up festival boots. Um, I know Rock Boots does some. That would look amazing. Okay, next up is the same thing. I took off the body belt, waist, stomach belt thing, and popped on this skirt from Shopo on top. This is so beautiful. It's got a gold foil all the way through it, and it's super floaty. And it just ties up here. I didn't tie it up very well. Um, as you can see, I was getting so like confused doing it in the mirror. So I'd probably get a friend to help me do it if I ended up wearing this outfit. But this is quite cute too. You could do it a little bit lower on your waist as well. Like, like I said, mine's done it really terribly. But yeah, that's another cute outfit. And I've just got the exact same boots on once again. These are definitely a favorite, I think. Once again, they are from Shopo. So yeah, that's another one. This makes me look real curvy as well, which I love. I love, love, love. I think with gold glitter, gold eye makeup, gold eyeliner even. Oh my gosh, this might be a favorite as well. Oh my gosh, I've got too many options now. Once again, I need better nipple covers. Like literally, it looks like my nipples are showing. Their nipple covers, they are darker than my skin tone and they look terrible. But hey, okay, so this is freaking cute. This is Shopo. So this is the um, knicker from White Force Boutique once again and then the skirt from Shopo and this top is from Shopo. I'd almost just be tempted to wear a black bra under it, like who cares, or else nipple pasties. I got the ones from the Gypsy Shrine of Shopo but they're silver and this has got gold stars all over it. Actually, it's got silver stars too. So maybe they would work. I hope I can reuse it. I was like trying to avoid using these because I want them for EDC. But hopefully they're reusable. Or else I shall get more. If you are super keen, you could always free the nipple. But that's not my jam. I love this. This is a favourite as well. And I think these silver stars looks cute underneath it. And it's just sheer. Um, and then I've just got the same boots once again on. I think these boots go with like every outfit pretty much. And you could also wear this to the side if you wanted, or you could wear it in that, probably the back's weird, because otherwise it's just like, hey, there's my butt. But yeah, just like that. Cute little bum bag. I reckon the sparkly one would look so cute. Oh my gosh. Shopo once again. Don't know whether to go for stars or just a black bra underneath, just for a bit of extra coverage. Um, I think either would look good. It just depends like how confident you're feeling that day, I guess. Okay, next up we have another risque outfit. So I put back on my combat boots from Rock Boots, fishnet stockings, and the little fashion over belt, and then the top and underwear are from Her Pony. I love, 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 love this outfit, but I don't think I'd be brave enough to wear it like this. Like, it's just a lot. Like, I would love to. I don't know. I've also got that little black skirt from White Force Boutique I could put on top of this. Or, once again, I do have the kimono. So I've got a couple of options. Like, this one, once again, which I tried on before, that's quite, like, frilly. So that looks kind of cool, maybe with the bum bag instead of the belt on top or even just the plain white fox boutique um gold and black bag this one yeah that one's real cute i don't know if it's too much having the um kimono and the fishnet stockings or not do you know what i mean do i need one or the other or are both okay i love the boots or the other one i was talking about that i do have first of all i have the skirt that i got off her pony but i feel like it's just a bit too small i think it just comes in one size no wait this is a size 12 but because it's elastic it like pinches me in too much so like that's not really my favorite but this here is incredible i've got it undone at the moment 
but it's the same as that white one I tried on with the Love Heart outfit that you can like button up the whole way. So like if I was feeling like I wanted a bit more coverage I'd probably just like button it up. It looks like it won't fit but it does. It's very very stretchy. So it would look like that or else you can just do it undone as well which is quite cute like this. So this is definitely another favourite and I'd probably once again do like gold eyeliner, big lashes, try to find some gold hair clips maybe. So yeah that's real fun. It's just like a Scorpio pattern, which I think is so cute. I'm not even a Scorpio, but I just love it. And then it's got the little coin detailing all around under here. Maybe like a big chunky gold necklace or something as well, or just like big gold earrings. So this is the second to last outfit. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Don't forget to comment below on your favorite one. Now let's chuck on the very last one, which is more of like a nude kind of outfit. Okay, so we have this from White Fox Boutique. Also this skirt from White Fox Boutique. In my haul video I was like, oh it's so short because I was wearing it like that, but it's supposed to be worn like this. I was looking on the website again and I was like, oh dash Shannon. So there's that, um, and then also this like statement, fawn star, necklace, big huge earrings. Maybe not both at once, I don't know. I don't know why this was looking weird on camera. Like, oh I think it's just the pattern. It's like a mesh kind of pattern. And then I paired this with some feelers with little lacy socks that I got off ASOS. They're just little like, you know, like, yeah, lacy, duh. What kind of like fanny pack would you do? Even like that's quite cute. I don't know, like I like a bit of clashing patterns and textures and stuff like you guys know lately. Or the other one which I think would be a bit cooler but also maybe better for like clubbing rather than music festival. I feel this is more music festival like skirt and the top. The top's like very close to my boobs coming out. The cup's quite small but the like band is up as tight as it goes so if I went up a size like it'd be too big. So I'm a bit confused. I'll show you the other one though. So White Fox either like you can get these by themselves. Do I have them around the right way? I don't know if I have them around the right way. So these are off White Fox. They're like little hot shorts. I don't think they're very flattering on me personally but I just wanted to show you because like that would look real cute on some people. I do have nipple covers on by the way so don't worry you're not gonna see my nipples right now. But um with like the snakeskin fanny pack from Shopo that's real cute. Feelers like it's a little bit sporty but not sporty, I don't know. But then I thought maybe this little dress straight on top. I got this in a size medium. I'm pretty sure all of the stuff I got from White Force Boutique is a medium. So it actually like laces up in the back, which I'm too lazy to do by myself. Like once again, I probably need a friend to help me. Yeah, this is a bit cuter for festival rather than the t-shirt dress I reckon. I think this comes also in silver and black as well, but that's super cute. And then it's like backless, but it's got straps. I just haven't done them up. So you can kind of like, I don't know, crisscross it over. I just have to actually tie it properly. But yeah, that's a super cute option as well. What do you guys think? Tell me your favorite three down below. Describe them to me. I should have like numbered each outfit, but if you just describe each outfit to me, help me choose what to wear to EDC. And other than that, I hope I gave you guys some inspiration for your festival style as well. You can obviously match pretty much any bralette or bodysuit that I wore today with denim shorts or pants or anything like that if this is a bit too like out there for you. Cause I totally understand if it is cause every other year I've been like, no, it's too out there for me. But this year I am committing. I'm doing what I've always wanted to do and I'm just gonna wear super fun outfits. You couldn't catch me dead wearing an outfit like any of these on a normal day but because it is a festival it's a little bit different, it's a little bit more fun and creative and freeing and I'm just so excited. So yeah, please let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video wasn't too long for you to go through. Don't forget to thumbs up as always and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!